cuts at the University of Evansville released tonight impacting several employees. Thank you for joining us. I'm Shelley Kirk. Hello, I'm Brad Bird. The University President's Council released a proposed academic realignment plan tonight for UE faculty to review and provide input. In a letter sent by President Chris Petruskevich, the plan is designed to eliminate underserved and unsustainable programs and allow for more investment to the greatest areas of growth, that according to the release. The realignment plan proposes consolidating the university's four colleges into three. It would eliminate three departments, music, philosophy, and religion and electrical engineering and computer science, including 12 associated majors. Also, five additional majors would be eliminated, art history, history, physics, political science, and Spanish. The changes would not take effect until the fall of 2022, so all current students will be able to complete their majors. Once the faculty reviews and offers its input, UE expects to finalize its academic plan at the start of 2021. And joining us now live is UE President Christopher Petroskevich. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We appreciate that. Now, the scope of these cuts is causing gasps among many in the tri-state. What is the impetus behind these cuts? Many speculate finances. How is UE's financial situation? Well, I think there's a variety of different things that are part of the plan for the university. This is the first step in a realignment plan that affects the entire university. And the University of Evansville is not alone in colleges all across the country. The pandemic has exacerbated uh, taking a look at the financial implications of what happens, is to co what happens for colleges and universities. And this is the first step in the process of making sure that we are planning on the appropriate things for the university for the next 100 years in Evansville. And uh, President Petruskevich, uh, perception can be a reality for many people. Some have been critical of this process, saying that the faculty and staff have had little to say, if anything. And a source tells me almost 40 faculty members are in line to be cut. What do you say to them and to students on campus and those who are considering going to UE? Well, I think the first, the first part is that I'm, I'm very empathetic to the idea that we're not just talking about majors and we're not just talking about departments, but we're, we're talking about people uh, and their impact for many years as part of the university. The plan does allow for uh, our faculty members to have 18 months notice before any changes would happen. Uh, and in any of the departments that are affected by the proposed changes, uh, we have a voluntary separation incentive program uh, to allow our faculty members, whether they're of retirement age or not, uh, to be able to elect uh, to take the package for uh, 12, 12 months of salary plus a, a payment towards health care costs over the course of the next year. Uh, that hopefully will alleviate some of the burden for our faculty members. And the other part of the question is this is the first step in the process. Uh, over the course of the last semester, uh, we have indicated to our faculty that we're taking a look at a variety of different criteria and that we are seeking their meaningful input uh, over the course of the next number of weeks. So this is the first step in the process. Uh, I had a meeting with our faculty earlier today. I'll have another meeting with our faculty on Tuesday after they have an opportunity to uh, digest the plan or the proposed plan a little bit more, uh, take a look at some of the data that we used in the criteria that we used in making these recommendations. But the reason why it's a proposed plan is that we do want meaningful input from not only our faculty, but our staff and our students. Uh, and my hope is that uh, today was the first step in that process. Uh, we'll give them an opportunity to take a look at more information, ask us some more questions, and over the course of the next couple of weeks, uh, solicit their input uh, and solicit their recommendations before a final plan happens. All right, President Christopher uh, Petruskevich will be going in-depth live with you at 9 o'clock tonight, and we're going to have faculty uh, reaction uh, following uh, your uh, responses, and uh, that's coming up tonight on Eyewitness News at 9 on the CW7. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.